but welcome to my channel uh some days before i remember i was working on a project of a uh, multiplayer tic tac toe tic tac toe is a uh, like uh, consists of cross and zeros and a board which has nine boxes and we have to place that cross and zeros uh in order to win or lose the game there are two players so i think you know this game and uh let me continue so uh my this uh, this will be a multiplayer game using cloud it is using firebase it will uh, uh just uh, let me give you an example suppose you are in goa and your friend is in mumbai so you are sending him a code and he is joining the game then you and he will be able to play together tic tac toe with your phones okay so let me show you So this is Thunkable, and this is my game. So there are, as you can see, there are three screens: ID screen, Play screen, and Screen One, which is the End screen. So, as you can see, the design. I have firstly added one column, then I have taken, uh, sorry, then I have uh, set this uh, vertical alignment of the column to space it out. So that I told you about this alignment space around. It will align the items away from each other, also taking care that they are of equal distances from the edge of the column. So you can see, uh, firstly it will be like this, and then you have to set this to space around. Then I have taken one text input one, that is text input, and its ID is text input one. I have taken one text input, and the hint should be generate or enter four digit game id so basically we will have that is i told you the code that is the game id in this game we will take this game id and one will share the game id in order to play the game with the other and as you can see i have also taken one button and i have designed it according to my choice so you can design it according to your choice and i have also set one border i am leaving it upon you as designing is one's own choice if you want to add this background i will provide it in the description box so you can see the wood background it is looking beautiful i will share you this link in the description box just check the description and you will get it in the assets section well this is one of our assets of the background this is a background image and you can uh, search google and take uh, something uh, unique your own unique background and you can set it because i am not forcing you to take this background only so now what do you think will be the code of this screen one that is the id screen let me tell you with the help of words i i am sure that you are you are just guessing the code and you are right i'm sure so what what is the task of this screen it will the user will enter the game id so first of all when this button will be clicked what will happen if this is empty or null which is also the synonym of empty if this is empty it will tell that please enter the code and if it is not empty it will take the code uh, go to the database save the code as the key and then continue let me show you the code so here it will basically not take it as the real time database storage we will do it in the next screen but here what we will do let me just show you first of all we will uh, that is game id we have to store it in a variable to transform it from screen 1 to screen 2 this is screen 1 this is screen 2 we have to transform it well this is i'm doing the initialization of the variable of the app variable game id to null that is empty there is nothing in game id it is fully empty so when the button 10 it's showing button 10 because here i have set the id to button 10 uh here you can write start game or anything else where to go you can write anything well when button 10 means when the submit button when the start game button is clicked we will set what if else command you know what is if else command if 1 is greater than 2 
then c it is wrong if one if one is less than two then say yeah it is correct if this is true if this particular statement is true then execute this set of programs and if it is not true then we will go to the else part execute this set of programs so what i have set in the if part i hope you are understanding i have set it that text input once text is equal to none if the text is equal to empty so how will i take the game id because there will be nothing so if this happens so what will happen we will set the hint as enter any four digit game id then the user will understand that he or she have to enter any four digit game id it may not be a four digits you can enter more or less but you have to enter one set hint to enter any four digit game id if it is not null means if uh, it is like one to the, means if it is filled it is not empty so what will happen as i told you it will extract the game id and it will start the game so what will happen set app variable game id this is the variable game id we will set it to text input one get text what is text input one text input uh, one consists of the code and then we will navigate to the play screen so now let's see what is the play screen i have named it play screen so here it is coming that play screen you can name it screen to anything else i am not forcing this is the play screen well you can see the tic tac toe board i have got it means i have not received an award but i got it from google so i am going to sharing this because you need it in this topic i have to force you because you need this board to complete this game because without tic tac toe board we can't complete this game you can take any other tic tac toe board so that's not any type of forcing so i am also giving you in the asset section that the link to the tic tac toe board image all right so i have also set one background firstly let uh, let me show you from the play screen properties so the screen property properties are vertical alignment and horizontal alignment center that's nothing but well uh, nothing so special in this properties so i have firstly added one column and you can see the background picture i am also going to share this image this particular image with you so that you can build up with your own game and nothing special in the vertical alignment and horizontal alignment the same as the default settings well understood here we will add one image sorry this is the image as i have already told you uh, told you that what is the image what is the image component of thunkablex well what is the image component it helps us display any image from the url or if we upload it in thunkable storage it is thunkable system like i have uploaded i will give you the link you will paste the link here and this tic tac toe board will come up within a few seconds now we will add the first row don't worry if its position is something wrong it will automatically be set when you will do for all the three rows okay so don't be afraid if uh, it's not working if the first row is here in place of there if the first row you can see where was point you with hand well this is the first row and if it is here and not here don't be afraid it will be automatically set when we will do for all the three rows i hope you understood so first of all you have to add this row then you have to set the height to fit content and set the width to fit fill container which will be our default then what will we do scroll down here in the space around section uh, sorry it will be in the center here in the horizontal alignment section it will be centered set it to space around so that what happens this you can see they are all equally spaced and then we have to make this three buttons here the button one i have set its font size to 22 so it will come up if we press this it will come up x or 0 there is o i think well that will come up 
the font size will be 22 so you must be wondering that uh, what, what are you telling that here's nothing here's no this or this there's nothing so why i am setting the font size to 22 what will happen well let me show you so why are we setting this font size 22 the reason is that it will come up at x or o when we will press this and the background color will be 646161 as the hex code and just it will be like this six four, uh, if, if you press this it will be like this you have to set the alpha to 40 so it will be all right you will see now like this you can do either duplicate or you can make it by your own you can duplicate like this duplicate one to two two to three like this you can make the first three buttons now there will be only one row. Forget these two rows. Forget these two rows. There will be only one row when you make the first row. Now duplicate the row. So now let me show you the property of the first row. In the first row you will set the top margin to minus 260. In the second row all are same. These three rows are identical. But the margin will be different. Here the margin top will be minus 260 and there will be no padding here. Here the margin top will be 50 and no padding. Same as here. Yeah. The margin top will be 50 and no padding. Same. Well then it will be set like this. Perfect. Now let's go. You know the code is very difficult here. And now let me tell you something. You have to forget this text to speech you have to add this precious component called the real time database and as i have shown you you can, you can go back to my firebase video you can go to, back to my youtube channel coding tutorials by anubrata sarkar you can go there you can search for firebase or firebase inputs and outputs and then you can find easily and you can make the firebase remember the project number is limited because if we do 15 projects in one of the email accounts, it will be fixed and we can not make 16 projects. So what you need to do, you will need to make another Gmail account or Google account and you can do that. <clears throat> so that's needed uh, if you are working on very advanced projects. So, okay. So <clears throat> let's go to the core. As I have told you that we will add the real time database and we will go there. Sorry, we will go there and we will add the uh, API key and the URL. Uh, uh, I have already shown you how to get the API key and that's not in the console. You have to get it from the dot, uh, .json file. And now let's continue to the blocks. Well, first don't continue to the blocks. First, uh, you have to complete. I am repeating again and again because uh, it will be uh, it will be sometimes wrong. So I am repeating again and again. So first of all, complete. The real time database then you go to blocks so now see now let's see that uh what's the please screens block there will be three variables we'll be declaring three variables app variable turns to zero app variable chance chance mean like x1 eureka congratulations x1 or congratulations o1 i was telling why <laughs> sorry so let's set the turns to zero and let's set the chance to null because firstly there will be no chance and we will make it after one player has won and initialize available player to player one because what will happen well when the screen is initializing what will happen you tell me what will happen well if it is player one x will be printed in the boxes if it will be player two sorry if it will be player one here uh, as per this logic, if it will be player 1, it will be O. If it will be player 2, it will be X. So why I am telling you it will be player 1, then it is O. Why it is not X, you will be asking me. Well, I am telling as per this logic because here you can make it player 1 and X. And player 2 and uh, O. So, first of all, you can see this check. We will do this check later. First of all, remove, uh, you remove this check. There is no check. Forget this check. Check function. When button 1 will be clicked, set app variable turns. 
this terms we will get derive it from here the tab variable you will set it to a variable turns you can do it easily i know you'll be able to do but still i'm showing if it is a variable turns because we have to count the turns set turns to turns plus one okay we will count the turns so i haven't added the function of a tie here we will add it later so when the button is clicked first we will add one more turn suppose it's zero turns is zero you can see zero x is uh, first player clicks on first button he is o when o is printed the turns is one and when again x is printed the turns is two o is printed three then four then five oh, up to nine okay so when button one is clicked what will happen this will happen i know this will happen this have to happen in every buttons so what else is the logic behind it now let's introduce you to one more function else if you will go to if do you'll go to the gearbox and uh, you will add the else if function you see if do else if do like this you have to add it if a variable player is equal to player one then set button one takes to o if it is player one then it will be o if it is player two it will be x understood i'm repeating if it is player one if a variable i have already already shown you in uh screen one that is that was for if uh if duels and this is for if duels if it's just say okay so if a variable player is equal to player one then you have to this is the text function you can see here if a variable player is equal to player one then set button one text to o if this is also text else if a variable player is equal to player two this is also text set button one's text to x this is also text now we will add this check function later forget about this there is no check function here it is in my but it will be not available in yours because you have not created the function till now i will help you create the function so let's move forward we will copy this and do it for all the buttons but remember ensure that you have to change it that suppose i am copying it for button 2 what will i need to do i have done it for button 1 now let's make it button 2 how will i make it button 2 remember you have to change the button number if you don't it is very important and it is must it is a must if you don't do it the app will be fully doing well when button 2 is clicked set this to button 2 and this to button 2 and now by copying this you can make it for all the night remember to change it for three this three will be three for four this three will be four for five this three will be five like this for nine this now this three will be nine okay now i'm removing this because let me show you i have done for all nine and my game is ready but it's still not ready when you will see the next functions you will be just telling oh it's so much it's too much now let's come to the database when play screen will open from here you will get i have set it to play screen if uh, your in yours if it's screen one here it will come when screen one opens if it is screen two it will come when screen two opens you will just go to the bottommost part before any component and you will get it this is the screen well i am reading as per my commands okay just understand because as I have told you many times, numerous times, when play screen opens, what will we do? Where is this function? I want to ask, where is this function? Yes, this is in the real time database one. We will go to real time database one. We will come up with the function and listen. We will add it here. So this key will be empty. What will we do? We will go here. This is a variable game ID. We'll do like this. Simple. It's done. No, it's not done. This one check function. I forgot to tell. Well, initialize a variable list. You saw that check, violet color check. So now we will create the check function. Before that, set a variable list to empty list. How to set it? Let me show you. Initialize a variable. I am set, setting it to list one as list is already created for me. 
for me i have created that list one go here and you will get empty list like this it's very simple like this you need to uh, you need to come up with the concept of emptiness a list i mean say okay now go to functions we will come up with this set this to check and add this course i know you will be able to add this course but i will help you in some of them do like this if app variable now we have to change the dance because when it will be app variable player one then it will be just going like that in a loop that it's player one app variable player is player one so it will be going like if it's o then o o o o o like this if it's x it will be going like x x x x x so we have to stop this we have to stop this infinite loop repeat forever loop and we have to make it like x o x o x o or suppose may, might i might say that o x o x o x okay so i think perhaps you understood well if you else if do i have already shown you you will go to the gear box and then you will add else if okay so in this if the set of uh, the set of instructions will be what it will check every if a variable player is equal to player 1 then what it will do it will set the app variable player to player 2 if it is player 1 when will check uh, check be executed when any button will be clicked so when any button clicked just think this check to be when any button clicked because it will not be possible if any button is not clicked when any button is clicked if it is player 1 it will set it to player 2 if it is player 2 it will set it to player 1 i think perhaps now you understood well we will again set the value of the you will go here it will comes a variable player as we have declared that variable first you will go to here and set it to a variable list this is list here how to derive this list you go to the lists take this remove this 1 2 3 4 and we have you can see you can count 10 because i am counting 10 because here is 9 and here is 10 there are already 3 you can just like this make it 10 okay i think you know this well when it will be 10 the first one will be button one stacks two stacks three stacks four stacks five stacks six stacks seven stacks eight stacks nine stacks and finally when the 10th one the 10th item will be a variable player if it is player one star or if it is player two star we will just bring it with us in the tour so that our player in mumbai can also see from goa i am just giving it an example then we will go to real time database and we will derive this function save okay you can see your key and value we will set the key to we will go to app variable you can see app variable game id where is game id you can see your game id yeah you can see and here we will derive it a variable list so you are done not done till yet well this is the function a variable say now let me show you now my next screen oh. there are some conditions let me show you the winning conditions either it can be button 1 button 2 button 3 well i am telling you 1 to 3 it can be like this you can win 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 like this and you can win like this and this how much it is it's 8 well let's go takes too much time well the check function where we were starting well well we will add one if do function and in the if do we will uh, the first is 1 2 3 like this like this horizontal 1 2 3 which is the simplest logic well remember we will we are adding end function that's why it's 1 2 2 3 2, 2. what we will do we will go to if we will drag this and we will go to is equal to will add two is equal to rather copying and pasting we can use this uh, well 
yeah done the base is done now you will add button one year button two year button again button two year and then button two button three year one two two three one two three means one two two three year not in the number system well what we will do if it is one two three this three buttons set this three buttons text color you will find the property text color set it to red as it will show that day one set button we will get it from here any component set take this to button set button and your all button we will get it from your all button in play screen this is the screen all button in if you have screen to all button in screen to disable to true it will be disabled so that the player can't change it anymore well we will set the chance that button one win if it is like this if someone won like button one text will be always if x one button one text will be x if o one button one text will be o suppose x one so what it will happen x wins okay then we will wait three second and we will create one screen here screen one which is the ending screen we will navigate to the screen i am setting it as screen one you can set it as end screen and anything like screen three anything will be done anything will be okay but so uh, don't set duplicate screen name like this is screen two so this will be also screen two that will not be allowed as it will be one conflection okay so now you can copy and paste it for all the buttons or for all the if statements for all the eight statements let me see for all the eight statements and you just find the statements like Oh, it takes too much time. Four, five, six. It will be four, five, five, six. Okay, you just uh, uh, just take it as seven, eight, nine, and you can just. I am just showing you all the logics. You can just do like that. Okay. So this will be four, five, five, six. Second logic. Remember to change this text color and this button four text, not button one text. Okay. Else the app will be ruined. Okay. Just remember to change it. The third will be seven eight eight nine. Fourth will be one four four seven. Just note it. Fourth will be one four four seven. Let me see if I'm counting right. Yeah. First will be one. So yo, this will be four five five six. Next, it will be seven eight eight nine. After that, it will be one four four seven. After that, it will be two five five eight. After that, it will be three six six nine. Note that. After that, it will be one five five nine. Just note it and make it. Because I have already told you what's the logic. It will be three five five seven. Last one. But well, just duplicate it and you can make it. Now. The last concept here. When real time database one data changed, here you can easily get it. Data changed. <clears throat> Set button one text to in list. Set button one text to <clears throat> because the Goa player when will uh, when he will tap X, the Mumbai player also will get that he tapped X, and now one is X. So this button one text will be <clears throat> go to list. You can get this function here, or I think here in list. Here you can see that in list there is something like list. Remove this in list, and now you can see it's similar. Just drag the value from year to year, and just make it for all the nine. After all the nine, remember we have two player on a two variable player. So this variable player will be, as I have shown you, you will get it from here again. And list, just you have to change this. This will be one. This will be two, and this will be ten. Now 
I'm deleting this because I have already won. So you have to design like this. Now, what about the ending screen? <clears throat> so this also has a background. I will share this background as well. <clears throat> so here I have one column and <clears throat> the horizontal alignment will be center and the vertical alignment will be top because it will be aligned at the top. <clears throat> now I have took one column here. Well, this column's alignment is top. And then I have took level two. And I have <clears throat> set its font size to 50. And I have set the color to this 012B61. This is my hex code. You can just write this there and it will just go on. The font size will be 50. The margin will margin top will be 20 and uh, everything will be same. We will add one more level and again set its font size to 50, color to Persian, Persian blue 012B61 and go here. Margin top will be 20. You can just duplicate it. Now we will add one row. We will set its uh, at the center. We will set its horizontal alignment to center. Okay. We will set its top margin to 150 as it has some uh, some space from here. We will set its uh, we will set one button and we will set the button's background picture to this icon. I am I will I am also going to share this icon in the asset section in the description. Do check that and go to blocks. When button one will be clicked, when this button will be clicked, it will it means replay. You will play that. Not that game, you will go to the home screen. Navigate to ID. I have set the home screen's name to ID. When button 11 will be clicked, navigate to ID. Okay, understood. When screen 1 opens, when screen this screen, that is the ending screen, ending screen, I have named it screen 1. When this will open, what will happen? Set the level 2 to, you will get this function here. Random of list. see where it is okay so it's in the list yeah random of list this is the random of list well here this a and b and i have set one two three four five six seven there are two set it to seven one two three four five six seven and this one i'm just duplicating it and this all and like this set level to text to like this set level to text to i have set seven text that is terrific then exclamation mark superb then exclamation mark eureka then ex uh, exclamation mark cool then exclamation mark great same exclamation mark good job exclamation mark swish exclamation mark so these are words of excitement and when someone won you can tell it to them set level 3 text to have variable chance you remember what we have set to chance that if x wins we, have, we will set it x wins yay or terrific x wins now we will go back we will add one text to speech component you can see text to speech you can search it here text to speech you can add this here well, let's go back to the blocks. Set text to switch default language to English US. Remember, not English GV, English US. Set uh, it will speak up that. Suppose it, it's chosen Eureka. Eureka X wins. Like this, it will speak up. Because I have joined this two texts Eureka or good job or switch like this. This one random text and this variable chance. That is the level three text. Okay. So that's the ending of this tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel or do not forget to like my video. Also comment in the comment section what you have done, what you have made. I will, I, uh, I will like to see that. Well, if you are, have any trouble doing that, you can obviously share it to me. I will see that. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel again. Bye-bye.